Hey Siri. Hadouken! Hey guys, welcome to Leading Edge TV. I'm Andrew Weber. This is the show that brings you news and reviews through the eyes of GearLive.com. And today, we've got something I've kind of been waiting for for about two years. I am a big fan of home automation and home automation products. I like being able to control things from my smartphone, from the palm of my hand, no matter where I am on this planet. But the thing is, is a lot of these products all have their own proprietary technologies for interacting with them, which basically means when you boil it down, you have to jump into different apps to control different things. So if I want to control my thermostat, I have an app for that. If I want to lock my front door, I have an app for that, separate app. If I want to control my smart lights that I have in my home, I have yet another app to use for that. And it gets kind of tiring and cumbersome to jump in and out of apps to control different things. Apple decided a couple years ago to release HomeKit as part of iOS 8. Now what HomeKit does is it allows apps to talk to each other in the background. So it works through the apps that control each of your home products. This allows your devices to work together and allows you to control them in more ways right from your device. Privacy is also built in, so HomeKit data is always encrypted and secure. Aside from just controlling devices one-to-one, -one, HomeKit also lets you create scenes to connect and control appliance settings in different combinations. For example, you might have a scene named leaving home, which would turn off your lights, lock your door, and lower your thermostat, all with one command. And the other major feature of HomeKit is Siri voice control. So that's a quick overview of Apple HomeKit. What does it have to do with what we're doing today. Well, like I said, I've been waiting two years for HomeKit to basically come into fruition. There's been a couple HomeKit devices here and there. They've been very hard to find because Apple's been taking their time with certifying things. In fact, I have quite a few devices here in for review that boast HomeKit compatibility, but I can't show them to you yet because Apple hasn't officially signed off and given those companies permission to use the HomeKit badge. However, one company is on the scene does have a HomeKit compatible product, and it's not some proprietary product. It's a super versatile product, in fact. It allows you to make other devices in your home that aren't smart into smart objects. And I'm talking about the Connect Sense Smart Outlet. With the Connect Sense Smart Outlet, you just plug it into the wall and installation is done. It really is that easy. Take it out of the box, plug it into the wall. Then you download the Connect Sense app, it allows you to set up the outlet and anything you plug into that outlet from that point forward is now controllable from your smartphone through an app or through Siri voice control. Now let's get this guy opened up and I'll tell you more about it. With the smart outlet from Connect Sense, controlling and monitoring your home has never been more convenient. Not only is the smart outlet HomeKit compatible, but it can also monitor the energy consumed by the products in your home. As I mentioned, as far as hardware installation goes, it's as simple as taking it out of the box and plugging it in to an available outlet. From there, just follow the three additional steps found in the Get Starting Guide for downloading the app, getting the plug connected to your Wi-Fi network, and getting it paired to your HomeKit setup. To do that, you'll just use the eight-digit code found in the box. HomeKit is an Apple technology, and as such, the Connect Sense app is available for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Since HomeKit works in the background between apps, you can actually use the Connect Sense app to control other HomeKit compatible devices in your home. Or just use Siri commands to control the smart outlet with your voice. And if you own an iPhone 6S or newer, you can even get quick access to your favorite scenes by using 3D Touch right on the Connect Sense app icon. Even cooler, if you have an Apple Watch, Connect Sense has you covered there as well, allowing you to control your outlets and access your favorite scenes right from your wrist. HomeKit devices are even controllable from outside your home, anywhere that you have an internet connection, as long as you have a third or fourth generation Apple TV on your home network. Now here on front, you see two Wi-Fi connected sockets that can be monitored and controlled individually with an LED strip to the right of them, which lets you know which sockets are powered off or on. On the right hand side, you'll find two buttons. Each one allows you to manually turn the corresponding outlet off or on for those moments when you don't want to use a smartphone. On the left hand side, you'll find a USB port. It's a 2.4 amp USB charging port for rapid charging of smartphones and tablets, allowing you to keep the front outlets available for other uses. On back, you'll find the home kit information if you happen to lose that piece of paper that I mentioned earlier, as well as the MAC address, FCC information, and your product serial number. And there you have it. That was your look at the Connect Sense Smart 
outlet. Super easy to use, super simple to set up. Now, if you want to get one of your own, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's available now on Amazon. They cost $80 per unit. Question of the day, I want to know, do you use any sort of home automation products? Do you use HomeKit? Do you have a Nest? Do you have smart lights, smart bulbs, smart locks, smart coffee or tea maker? I wanna know, I'm curious. I'm a big fan of home automation. I assume a lot of you guys out there are early adopters getting into this as well. Or are you holding off until one platform kind of takes hold so you can go all in on that one like HomeKit. Obviously, Apple products are very popular. I think HomeKit's gonna be taking off. I think the Connect Sense Smart Outlet is a low barrier to entry on home automation, and I think they got it right. In fact, my prediction is that Connect Sense will start getting into other types of home automation products. They're not just gonna stop at a smart outlet. And if and when they do release new HomeKit products, we'll be sure to bring you that news right here on Bleeding Edge TV. Thanks for watching as always guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like what you saw today. Thumbs up if you like home automation and be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you're not subscribed already to be notified when we publish new videos, new reviews, and of course, new giveaways as well. In fact, we may have a giveaway going right now. If we do, check it out. I'll leave a card up there to our gadget giveaways playlist. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I'm Andrew Edwards. I'll catch you in the next video.